Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC Pack 13 slash Legendary Pack 2 update and content news here on the channel. We got a huge speculation video, something that I think you guys will enjoy, and I want y'all to watch this entire video. I know some of y'all like to skip through and everything, and that's fine. You can still if you want to, if you know you don't want to hear every single detail of me discussing the reasons why I think these characters that I've listed uh, could potentially be in this pack, or just some ideas that I think would join in this pack. Uh, yeah, you have ev you have every right to skip through, but I'm just telling you guys, you don't want to miss uh, some of the info that I'm going to be presenting because uh, it actually has good reasoning and stuff and just you know some stuff that I think uh, could definitely work for this game and that's the beauty of the Dragon Ball Xenoverse series is that we're only scraping the iceberg with this list that I'm showing y'all uh, it's not a massive list but it's it's got a lot of characters that I think uh, have potential of joining and I think in total at minimum they got to include three characters in this pack uh maximum probably four i don't think they go beyond that point because four was how much they did for dlc pack five and dlc pack six and you guys are seeing sort of uh history repeat itself with legendary pack two compared to dlc pack six with a jiren an ultra instant goku you know what i mean like this is like their chance to redo this pack and make it better or cooler or something like that so uh no pun intended shout outs to golden cooler i would love to see him in this but he's actually not on this list so uh we're gonna go ahead and jump into it uh, if you guys wouldn't mind doing me a massive favor and dropping a like on this video and commenting down below what characters you think or want to see in uh, DLC pack number 13 slash legendary pack 2 or whatever. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's just do it. Let's just let's, let's get into it. Your boy Slow once again has prepared a really bootleg ass slide. I think I would get a uh, maybe 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 a 69 on this. So uh, here it is. Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 legendary pack 2. As you can see right here, we know full power Jiren is coming. He's most likely going to be a paid character. I will be very surprised if he is some type of update type of character i think ultra instant goku he has good potential depending on how these characters play okay just keep that in mind depending on how these characters play they're either going to be free or they're going to be uh paid okay if they all if they have new skills new move set 100 they're going to be paid okay 100 if they are just as people like to call reskins or whatever um, obviously, they sh they belong in a free update, okay? If they charge money for reskins, they're actually retarded. <laughs> like, they're actually... And I know, you know, people don't like that word. It's a little bit, you know, harsh or whatever. And I apologize. It's just my really, really bad vocabulary. But, um... <laughs> they're, they're fucking stupid. If they, <laughs> if they think that people are gonna pay money for a reskin. I, even I... Okay, maybe I actually will pay money for it. <laughs> That's just me. I'm fucking stupid, okay? Don't be like me. But no, no. Sales will definitely be down and it'll be a waste of time on their part. So, no. Uh, we've seen Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and God Vegeta both have completely new skills and a new move set. They, they can definitely make these characters, like, really cool. And that's a problem. Uh, that's the thing with uh, at least Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. I know he wasn't that different from, like, normal Vegeta slash Majin Vegeta. But let me just say there wasn't, there really was not a lot that they could do for him. I'm just being honest. There's not much you can do for Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. His his main move is just Majin Vegeta's final explosion, but he just doesn't die. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and get into the first option. So... Uh, there are going to be, um, obviously, every single hero vote character on this list. Um, they would not present those characters in the hero vote if they didn't plan to eventually release all of them. And who knows? They might do something awesome where they just be like, hey, this w w we made all of them, you know? And they're not hard to make. These are very, very simple characters, okay? So Dispo is going to be my first option for uh, an inclusion in this pack. I feel like he's got the biggest highest chance out of any character okay and as i go through this list you'll see uh it kind of decrease in terms of their chances for being included justice crush as a super light speed as an evasive and circle flash as his ultimate these are all his moves that he has in dragon ball legends 
they have the model, they have the animations. They can carry that shit over to, to this game, okay? They did the same thing with PyCon, okay? It's imperative that they use assets from Dragon Ball Legends to speed up the process of making these characters legitimate, polished, and real in, uh, you know, Xenoverse 2 and bringing these characters to life. So, um, obviously he can definitely have more moves if they choose to do that, but I think this is reasonable. Probably give him full power energy fucking wave or some shit like that. Meteor crash, you know, the standard moves. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of people are like, ah, they, they gotta have 18 new skills, you know what I mean? It's like, no, they don't have to. Just give us some good, decent, you know, skills and obviously make them good for CAC. Uh, and yeah, like it's, this I think is very realistic. Dispo's a cool character. He's gonna be a lot of fun if they put him in the game. Uh, his speed and just like the the options that he can have as a character will be really really good He's probably gonna be a fragile character, but um, I think he'd be great Okay, and he even has his own like move set and everything like his own combos in uh, Dragon Ball Legends, so uh, excellent option. I think a lot of people would want Dispo uh, if we're getting full power Jiren We already have Topo. We already have base form Jiren. Give us Dispo we got the full the full crew. I know people, you know, shout outs to Lorax, Fat Lorax, uh, Base Form Topo. But, um, you know, as long as we have uh, G.O.D. Topo, I, I, I think ha rounding off the Universe 11 team is extremely important because these characters were some of the final characters that were left over in the Tournament of Power. And it would be smart to include this guy. A lot of people actually like him. Like, he's got a fan base. And he was, I would have to say, he's probably second in line. Uh, for hero vote, obviously Ultra Instinct Goku, uh, Omen Goku gonna win. Let's go and move on to list number two. So, Bergamo is a, he's a weird option in terms of like, uh, I guess his popularity. Like, I feel like he is kind of like 50-50. Like, some people absolutely love him and want him, including me. And I ain't no furry or anything, and obviously a lot of furries love, want this fucking character. Uh, but he's, I mean, he's fucking wolf, dude. He's cool, dude. Look, look at this dude. Like, it, it, these animal type characters, it's badass. Like, give him Wolfgang Penetrator as a super. Power Capture, aka, or whatever that move is called. It's called that, I think, in, uh, was it Dragon Ball Legends, where he can, like, absorb moves or something like that. Make that, like, a super or evasive. And then give, give him a Danger Beam. Uh, it would be badass if they did the trio of the Danger Beam. Uh, or whatever it's called, but mm, no, we're, we're talking about dims. And of course, I know people want the giant form for him, and it's actually not hard to make that. It's just, just give him the Namek shit, the Namek cack thing. It's very easy for them to do. I've played mods in it. I've done my showcases on these characters and what moves would work for them, and like literally showed you guys visual representations of mods that have this stuff. Um, but I feel like dims wouldn't do it because of fuckers. But yeah, um, <laughs> a Danger Beam, aka, is just probably going to be a blue two-handed full power energy wave or something like that. Look, he could be fun. He could be cool. Um, he's got his own combos and everything. He's a wolf, all right? And the Scarf! Give me the Scarf for Cac! So yeah, Bergamo, like I said, he's a weird option. Uh, it's like 50-50 with him, but because he's part of the Hero Vote, I definitely put him high on the list because... Um, I think a lot of people actually wanted him over, uh, I would say, I would say my ranking is Ultra Instinct, Omen, Goku, uh, Dispo, Bergamo, GT, Vegeta, and then, uh, <laughs> DBS 18. Uh, and that brings us to DBS 18. Now, I'm gonna be completely real with y'all. She is the worst, absolute worst option for a character to ever, 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 ever be included. She does not have a lot of options. Now, Dragon Ball Le Legends, Legends, what is that? My, my inner, my inner Texans coming out. Uh, she, she was included in uh, a recent uh, banner with uh, MVP 17 or whatever. And let's be real, MVP 17, he was part of DLC pack number six, extra pack two. And he got a couple of new skills. He got a cool, really cool move set that I love. I love his move set. His move set was ba actually based on what was shown. <laughs> In the anime and they did a really good job on that but his skills kind of sucked ass and his super soul was garbage <laughs> he was so bad and even with his custom partner he still sucks <laughs> okay just joking no he's he's a little bit better but 
Oh my god, I'm thinking they might include her. If they're gonna do a big ass like four character pack, they're definitely including her. I'm just I'm just gonna say it right now because she's easy. She's very easy to do. Give her all her repeat skills, rolling bullet and all that bullshit. I said finishing blow because that's a move that she actually has in Dragon Ball Legends. Um, but I literally put I don't know what else. This is a dumb choice for a character. <laughs> Laugh my fucking ass off. And I stand by that. So moving on. Uh my personal picks, my personal favorites, I want these characters bad, okay? And I will simp for these motherfuckers. I don't give a shit what y'all say. Bruh, kill and cauliflower, give them to me now! Or include them in a f future DLC or put them in Xenoverse 3. I don't care what y'all do. Uh, I feel a little bit upset. I feel like we got gypped. We got Kefla, but we didn't get cauliflower and kill. We're, we're talking about Xenoverse 2. I want all the characters. I don't care if they're, you know, we already got Kefla. I don't care if they're just like the, the regular characters. Give me both of them. More characters, more money in their pocket. I'll be happy. I don't care. Uh, Cauliflower. Crush Cannon. Uh, I think that's called. Is that what it's called? Something like that. If they want to, they could give her the uh, tingly feeling in the back as an evasive or some shit. I don't fucking know, dude. Shut up. I don't care. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, she, she could have Crush Cannon. They'll probably give her, like, Ray Blast, uh, you know, because Kefla has it, and it's, like, the red move or some shit. Uh, and then Kale, uh, I don't think they'd give us the base form one. I think they would give us Caulifla with Super Saiyan and maybe Super Saiyan 2 as her transformations. And then for Kale, they would probably just give her, make her another Broly, honestly. And I mean, fuck it, I don't care. Y'all gonna bitch about it, but I, 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 I want it. All right, I want another Broly. <laughs> um, female Broly. Uh, give her the gigantic impact, which I think was just like giant fucking green move or whatever. And then they could give her like little little green balls to throw. I don't know. They they can do stuff. They can guys. I'm gonna tell y'all. They can make up so many random moves and give them or just so many moves that they can base off the anime that they actually used and give them just like random names like again godly display is a perfect example of a of, of creativity like it's very creative like it's just like really weird random things that were never shown in the anime so they can make shit up just especially specifically for the games to uh sell these characters and i'm all for it i'm all for it okay so yeah i think these characters actually would be phenomenal and i think a lot of people would like to use these characters um you know like i said uh, if we have Vegito and Gogeta and Gotenks, and then we have, you know, Goten, Trunks, Goku, uh, you know, what what is it, uh, Vegeta, uh, Fuse Zamasu, but then we have Goku, Black, and Zamasu, like, I feel like it's kind of weird that we get Kefla, but we don't get their base, you know, the regular separate characters, like, come on, show some love to these characters, alright, moving on, <laughs> now this one is another great pick, and I think... And I honestly, I know Master Roshi didn't sell very well compared to a lot of characters in uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, but man, would he have the best fucking skill set and move set? And I'm just telling y'all, Thundershock Surprise, the one where he like you know zaps the character. He did it in the anime, uh, and obviously give him his DBS garb where he's got like the the wife beater and the uh, you know slacks or whatever, and then the the flip flops. That was badass, by the way. Um, Dude, this dude literally looked like my grandpa. Uh, Turtle Orb, he has. These are all moves that are listed in Dragon Ball Fighters, by the way. Uh, Turtle Orb, it's just like a blue, like blast that uh, I think is pretty cool because uh, basically you throw it and then you could it, it probably hits the opponent and comes back. Similar to another move, I forgot the forgot the name of the move. Um, there's a move in in uh, Xenoverse Two that does that, where it hits the opponent and comes back. I think it might be Side Bridge or something from android 17 i could be wrong but it may get similar to that um lullaby fist lullaby fist is sick put the opponent to sleep beat their ass i don't know something like that again these are all moves that are very similar to other moves in the game but they can make them cool uh yeah martial spirit as an evasive uh this one actually i don't know if they would do this but um this one makes him it, it makes him buff and it's kind of like a Oh, like a uh, brutal buster or whatever it's called that uh, Oob has, Majub has, so something like that. I think it'd be cool if they gave him a buff form or whatever, but I don't, I, I don't think that they would. But hey, you never know, you never know. 
Obviously give him Evil Containment Wave as the ultimate. Holy shit, how cool would Evil Containment Wave look in a 3D format? Like in the, in, in Xenoverse especially. Like Xenoverse got, looks awesome. Xenoverse looks badass with some of the skills that they have. Full power Kamehameha as an ultimate. Um... I don't know about that. They, were, they could just give him Super Kamehameha. He, they gotta give him Ultimate Contain Move. But as you can see, I got like the full list. Like almost uh, completely like Ribrian style. Like all new skills. You know what I mean? Like I think this is a great option. They can still include other stuff. Probably give him uh, Reverse Kamehameha. Bending Kamehameha. All that great shit. So uh, y'all let me know other cool moves that you would like to see. But Master Roshi from DBS. Like um, this, this DLC... Seems to be very, very tournament power oriented. So I think that these, all these characters have great options and, um, you know, chances to be in there. All right, moving on to the wild cards that are not, the, everything else I listed was pretty much all Dragon Ball Super slash tournament of power. Now I say we get into uh, a little bit more um, character, you know, the, the weird things like where they had PyCon and Topo. So this could definitely happen as well. So obviously, you know, part of, again, part of the hero vote, GT Vegeta. Now, uh, there are some people, and there actually, there are a lot of people that think that GT Vegeta can't be unique. And uh, I'm going to be honest, like, we, we really don't need another Vegeta. But let's be real. Goku has literally every single version of himself. He's got a GT version of himself as a little kid, which I think is more unique than GT Vegeta because he's, you know, a little kid. And he uses all his moves from Dragon Ball. So that's why we don't have a, you know, a dra original Dragon Ball version of, you know, Kid Goku. But, I mean, obviously for that reason we have him. Uh, you know, but yeah, GT Vegeta here. Um, I found some moves that I think would be very unique. You can watch my video I showcased. Um, something that a lot of people would love and I think would make a lot of sense. Give him Super Vegeta, but include Super Saiyan 3. How cool would that be? Because he does this, obviously not in, uh, you know, the anime, but he does this in Dragon Ball Heroes. And Xenoverse 2 has a lot of Dragon Ball Heroes shit, or at least stuff that's based on it. So give him that, because, you know, Little Kid Goku has Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3. So give GT Vegeta, Super Vegeta 1, 2, and 3. I think it'd look awesome. <clears throat> I think the form looks best on GT Vegeta, in my opinion. And it's just a way to make him unique and make him actually sell like if they put super saiyan 3 they could give him all his original like skills and everything or give him skills from super saiyan 4 vegeta and i'll fucking buy this character in a heartbeat um spirit break cannon this is a move that he actually uses in uh what is it uh dragon ball legends i think it's his uh ultimate 20 key card and he actually uses this as an one of his lrs uh i think Actually, he's only got one LR. Actually, no, no, yeah, he's only got one LR from the, uh, I think it was like the four-year anniversary or something, uh, from Dokkan. Um, it's basically like a, a final flash, but it's fine. It's like final shine color. It's cool. I think they could do that. So just make it like a super or something like that. Uh, Energy Cutter and Galaxy Breaker. These are two moves from uh, original DBZ Vegeta. These are moves that were never shown uh in this in, in xenoverse 2 and i feel like um because gt goku has a lot of you know little kid goku og dragon ball goku kind of moves like power pole and shit um it would be actually pretty cool to see uh you know vegeta get his og moves you know from when he was first introduced and i think galaxy breaker is awesome uh and energy cutter those are all moves from fighters and um giving it to gt vegeta i don't know it just feels right Y'all can disagree with me, but I'm just finding options that are not in the game or very unique and would actually work for him because, I mean, he would still know all these moves, okay? You know what I mean? So, uh, Galaxy Breaker, I really want to see in Xenoverse 2, uh, you know, just, like, throw throw their ass. It's kind of kind of like uh, a blue version of, uh, what is it called? Heat Dome Attack. So, I think that'd be really cool. Moving on here. Now, this one comes off as a, probably a surprise for a lot of people. And some, maybe some people were like, oh, I don't know if I really want another repeat. But just think about this. Think about a complete overhaul slash redoing of DLC Pack 6 slash Extra Pack 2. New Jiren, full power. Ultra Instinct Sign Goku. Android 18, replacing kind of like Android 17 because MVP 17 was part of that pack. And then um, 
Super Few slash uh, Dark Demon King Fu, or Few or whatever, <laughs> King Fu, <laughs> Kung Fu. Oh, man. Hey, I, let me know if y'all have ever typed that uh, Demon King Fu and it always came up as Demon Kung Fu or some shit like that. Um, yeah, so this is, this is a Dragon Ball Heroes character. He's very, very Dragon Ball Heroes oriented. He was actually revealed in Xenoverse 2 first, but there are actually a lot of cool moves that Dark King Fu slash... Um, Super Few actually has. If you guys don't know what who, who what or who Super Few is, uh, it's just a transformation that um, I guess all the demon characters have. Uh, what is it? Mira, he has this form, but I don't think he has it. it would, no, no, he never had it in Xenoverse 2, if I'm not mistaken. I think mods only did that. I play too many mods, but um, they could, if they wanted to, just make this an awa Awoken update and they've done awoken updates before kaioken blue and um pure progress for hit so they can still do that it's just they haven't done it in a very long time so it's very unlikely uh or if they want to they could just make this a separate character i think uh dark demon king few would be way cooler uh as you can see i listed a bunch of cool moves here uh that are actually based on what he has in dragon ball heroes time cutter surprise blade time cutter black hole infinite time slash and the dark factor ultimate which he uses in the anime. Um, you guys can like look at these, look these up or whatever. You can see what they actually look like or whatever. But these are just skills that I immediately found. Now for my last option, and this is why I want y'all, wanted y'all to stay through the video. This is my um, number one pick for what I want badly because I feel like DLC Pack 13 truly, truly should be the final DLC of Xenoverse 2. And what better way to finish this off with, boom, Super Saiyan God Trunks. Some of y'all probably be like, what the fuck? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, let's be real. Okay. Trunks, the very first hybrid Saiyan Super Saiyan God. And this is a real thing. Some people forgot about this. All right. Some people forgot about this. Trunks slash, I mean, Z specifically Xeno Trunks. Probably... Probably one of the most important slash main characters. He's he's definitely an MC of the Xenoverse series, okay? This dude, and him and Supreme Kai time are like the faces of the Xenoverse series. Give this man Super Saiyan God. Give my boy Super Saiyan God. You know how many cool moves that they can give him? With that fucking Keyblade shit. Like whatever that is, that giant, uh, you know, Bankai sword, like that blue sword or whatever. Key Sword Breaker, Burning Breaker, Justice Slash. Justice Slash he actually has as uh, whenever he's Great Saiyan in 3 or whatever that Great Saiyan is. So, yeah, they can make him so badass and everything. Um, if they want to, they can give him some repeat skills. Give him a uh, Prominent Slash from Vegeta or something like that. I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. Uh, badass moveset. Oh, man. Think about him if he, if like his moveset had the Keyblade integrated into it. Like Just think of... Uh, spirit sword trunks or whatever that the one from dbs but you have it all the time his whole move set just uses that dude and maybe even all his skills uses all that i think that'd be so cool dude man oh man that'd be so cool or make that like an ultimate the key sword breaker he like charges it up and like he gets like the key sword and he like kills people and shit oh my god i'm just thinking about it and i'm salivating right now dude I'm thinking about it, my blood sugar's dropping, bro. What's going on? <laughs> my blood pressure's rising. My blood sugar's dropping. What's going on, dude? My body's out of whack, dude. I'm excited for this. I want to see this shit. I know y'all want to see Super Saiyan God Trunks in this game, okay? And if they don't do Super Saiyan God Trunks ever in Xenoverse 2, make him the face of Xenoverse 3. I think that would be the biggest, coolest selling point. Make Xenoverse 3. Just that, You remember, like, uh, Budokai Tenkaichi 2 has, has Trunks? with his sword and it's got all of goku's forms oh think about if they did some shit like that where it has all of goku's like progression throughout the years where it's got like little kid goku it's got like super saiyan goku and it's got like super saiyan uh blue goku and then it has like ultra instant goku or some shit like that or something cool oh my god that'd be so cool and it's like the god trunks in the background like, oh my god oh dragon ball Universe 2 is badass but there you have it those are my personal picks um, again, if you want to uh, skip through this video or whatever, or give me ideas, uh, definitely do that. And that is going to do it. I had a lot of fun making this video, and I hope you guys did enjoy it. 
Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more updates and speculation in the future. And stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! <laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet!